So what's up guys? Happy to see you back. For those of you working the 9 to 5 job, those of you that have to work really early, maybe not from 9 to 5, 7 to 3, whatever it is. For those of you working in an office, your secretary, you might work for the man. I have an awesome workout for you guys that you can do without having to move an inch. I think it'll be really good for those of you that can't get to the gym uh, after working. You know, you, let's say you got your kids and you got to go pick them up from school after your job and you just can't get to the gym. I know the at-home workout sometimes, you know, you got to take an hour out or maybe a half hour out of your time and it's just too hectic in the house. But whoever thought that you could actually go to work and maybe 10 minutes before your lunch break get a workout in, right? You thought about that? I don't think you have. So I'm here to tell you guys today that you can. And I'm going to show you a few different movements and different motions that you guys could do, literally just in your own cubicle or in your office without having to go to the gym and over the course of time if you see it works obviously keep doing it you know but it goes back to my video where I talked about mental toughness it's only gonna be as good as you want it to be and you're only gonna go as far as you let yourself go so I'm gonna show you guys five different workouts I'm trying to simplify it for you guys so it's as easy as possible and I think this is one of those things that you guys might see and say wow I never knew I could do this and it's that easy I got my little mock office behind me set up by the best girlfriend in the world and um, this is what she would think I would do in my office. I put the Kansas City Chiefs hat there. That's just me. But the purple binder, that's her. The different colored post-its, that's her. The water bottle without a label, that was me. She wanted to put Starbucks there. I didn't allow it. The candle, that was her. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys these workouts you can do at your own desk at work. And uh, for those of you who have a busy schedule at home or have a big family, I think it's going to be really, really good for you guys. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm at my desk. I'm going to, I guess, reenact what it would be on a normal day for you guys in the office. Hence why my hair is this way. The first part of this little exercise grouping that you could do at your desk or in your cubicle um, is pushing. And we did this in my chest circuit a little bit. I had you guys push really hard. So this time, it's gonna be the same thing. You just wanna have your elbows up, all right? And I'm sitting down, literally sitting down. I pulled my chair out and I'm just sitting down. And what you wanna do is you just wanna make a cut motion just like we did that, but this time, you're just gonna use your whole hand, not so much your palms, and you're just gonna push as hard as you can for five seconds. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing with the other hand and push as hard as you can for five seconds. Okay, and that's one. All right, you wanna do this three times. Take 10 second break, 10 seconds comes, back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Automatically, you're gonna feel it in your chest. You're gonna feel your arms. I mean, it's only gonna work as good as you want it to be. You have to push as hard as you can and really, really get the muscles going and the blood in there. All right, third set. One, two, three, four, five. And this is good, you know, if you have to monitor anything, you just be like, one, two, you know, check in your computer, four, five. Oh, Brett put up a my post-workout and protein smoothie, awesome. Oh, wow, I did eight seconds, I didn't even know that. So, it's good because it'll take your mind off of it while you're doing it, you know what I mean? And not to say that you shouldn't be concentrating, but you never know, if you put your mind somewhere else, you know, during a workout when you're stressed and really asking for your all-out effort, you know, it might be helpful. All right, so that was the first grouping. So five seconds each, immediately after each other. It's gonna be this type of motion. One, two. Five seconds, five seconds, all right? And that's gonna be three times. The next one, same exact thing. Right here, but you're pulling, all right? And you're gonna feel this in your lat. This is gonna work your lat muscle, a little bit of bicep, uh, a little bit of forearm, all right? One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I could already actually feel sweat. I don't know if it's all these lights or I just happy to see Carly, I don't know. Or maybe these are just really working. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's some moisture in here. Same thing, back to five, ready? One, two, three, four, five. You can see me shaking because I'm really trying as hard as I can to pull. One, two, three, four, five, all right? If John walks by from communications and says, hey, what are you doing? No, just ignore John. 
don't let John tell you anything. John's the negative energy trying to take your positive energy away. You're getting your change in at work, all right? John is going to the freaking water cooler to talk about <laughs> politics and everything like that. Who cares? But don't worry about John, all right? Forget those people. Those are the negative Nancys. We don't, you know, we're not friends with negative Nancys. They don't sit at our table, all right? Never forget that. All right, moving on. The next exercise, you're gonna be working your tricep and bicep, and you're just gonna make a fist. And what you wanna do is you wanna press down with your fist as hard as you can, but you wanna resist with this fist and push up. So you're basically, you're just pushing both sides for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And the upper part, you're gonna feel it on your tri. The bottom part works your bicep. 10 second break, right back at it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. For the next exercise, you're gonna put your hands together, you're gonna point them out, and it's gonna work chest, all right? We're gonna do two parts. You're gonna do one lower like this and one higher like this. We're gonna start with the lower one, we're gonna do three, and then we'll do the higher one, and like everything else, we'll do three. All right, make sure your back is straight, press against each other. One, two, three, four, five. Shaking like a little girl on a haunted hayride. All right, it's working, trust me. You guys might be shaking a little, but it is working. Make sure you wear your deodorant on these days. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. So for the third one, one, two, three, four, five. We did the three bottom. Let's do the top now. So same thing, back straight, nice posture, and you're just gonna press your palms. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna work the upper part of your chest and some of your shoulder, all right? Let's do the second one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, 10 seconds, last one. One, two, three, four, five. Right. By now, you should feel a pretty good pump in your chest, on your arms, Forearm. I'm breaking a little bit of a sweat. I mean, it's definitely work. The last exercise is going to be for shoulders, really just to polish off everything you've just tensed during the workout. You're going to shrug a little bit. Just shrug right up. You're going to open your hands. All right, it's very important. Make sure you're keeping your core tight, and you're just going to swing your arms back and forth. Your posture is very important for this workout, so you want to be upright, shrug a little bit, arms straight. This part of your arms parallel to your body with your arm in a 90 degree angle, and you're just going to swing back and forth. 30 seconds, fast as you can. Oh, what's going on, John? How you doing? Hey, oh, Mike, what's going on? Just doing Brett Kep's workout. Hey, yeah. 25, 26, 27. 29, 30. Honestly, feels good. You know, I feel like I kind of just did something crazy. Arms are a little light, a little jello-y. You should feel it in your arms, you should feel it in your triceps, your shoulders, your chest, all right? Even in your core. Make sure for the whole workout you're keeping your core tight. That's very important, okay? It kind of stems from posing, like bodybuilder posing. It really is a workout because you're actually holding your muscle um, for X amount of time and you know that that's not easy. That's actually pretty hard So this stems from that and I think it'll really be uh, beneficial to those of you who don't have time to get to the gym after or prior to work Maybe it's your day that you couldn't make it. You're a little bit bummed out Get this workout in. For those beginners, I want you guys to really just start out doing five second holds, okay? I want you to work it in slowly, but those of you who avidly go to the gym, please tighten it up 20 seconds, 30 second holds, add more sets instead of doing three do four, five, whatever. If you guys have any further requests to see me act out, any scenario that relates to your life, as in our case right now, someone who works a nine to five, works at a cubicle or at a desk that can't make it to the gym, I just showed you what I would do in their situation. So if you have a situation that relates to that or you, know, you have a question or anything, as usual, please comment below. You can at me on Twitter or on Instagram and hashtag Brett Fitness as usual and I will do my best to answer and accommodate all of your requests. 100K giveaway coming up for YouTube. Can't wait and a big thank you to those of you who've been supporting me since the first day. All right, and I know you guys are out there 
Really appreciate it. A lot of love for me to you. And until the next video, thanks again. My name is Brett Cap. I'll see you guys next time.